Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We've got a few songs left from this year's Eurovision to listen through. Uh, or, well, I do. You've probably already heard them and, and that's why you're here, because uh, I guess you're interested in hearing what I have to say about the remaining songs. And the first the one that we're going to get to in this video today is one that dropped a few days ago. I've just been uh, listening to, to other songs in the meantime and just kind of postponed this one. It's a song from Israel. It's called Unicorn by Noah Kirill. And uh, yeah, let's see what this one's all about. As a song, this one, it's it's actually really cool. I, I think there are a lot of things to really enjoy about this one, which which makes me happy because I've listened to two songs now for Eurovision that I've just not clicked with at all. This one, however, I feel like there are so enough things done in here that actually uh, sparks an interest in me. It feels unpredictable throughout. It has uh, some some crazy ideas just being thrown in there. And I think there's also like a package to everything that that even though there are many different approaches and all of that, they kind of tie into each other in, in, in a way. Um, I think honestly, like I kind of kept calling them build ups throughout the song, but I kind of take it that those are actually the choruses of this song. And I think they are very mellow, like they don't really <laughs> they feel like the soft parts of the song, like everything else that goes on in the song really feels engaging to me. But these well, choruses that actually feel like build-ups. I think they're very soft. I think that the, the piano that that's kind of being used as as the lead um, lead instrument in these segments is something that's kind of not very fulfilling. It's a it's a kind of pattern and approach and and arrangement that kind of desires to have to have some kind of resolution and after it, but that never really. We, no, we never really get that. It always leads into like just a new section. Like in the first case, it goes into the verse. And then I think in the second case, it goes into this um, half-step segment there, which which was a pretty cool segment, I gotta say. Um, however, like the overall package here, I feel like a major strength that the song has it's, it, is its unpredictability because it's throughout the entire three-minute runtime, there's never really a point where I feel like I actually know what's going to happen, which is a strength. I think these, like the choruses, then let's let's say uh, those are probably like the most underwhelming segments because melodically I don't think they're that interesting. Um, there's a nice like little tonal shift within them after the A section has been delivered. The A section I think is pretty like just dragged out notes, not very interesting. The the chord prog progression is very simple. It, it's basically just elevating uh, each chord. Um, well, the, the first three chords, it's basically just the major, the major, the minor, and, and it's basically seven, eight, six, seven, one. Um, but, um, but like, these segments, even though they feel like the predictable ones, I think that the rest of the song, I kind of lost my thread here, but the, the, the B section of, the, of these uh, choruses actually have a variation in the melody that actually um, kind of, there's like descending tone in it while also having a nice little interval to it which I think is something that actually makes it stand out a little bit, and I, I enjoy that part of the song more. Um, however, the, the major standout, I think, like these small little pheno pheno phenomenal parts um, are actually really charming, and I think they definitely should have incorporated more of that kind of vocal style throughout the song, instead of just using this very vocal line to have that kind of rhythmic intensity in the vocal delivery. I would have wished for that intensity to actually be scattered around the song um, in a in a larger scale, basically, because I think this feels a bit rushed. It feels like it's just thrown in there for some kind of effect, um, and and it feels like it's not really a part of the of the whole song uh, uh, per se. Um, still, like a really catchy thing to throw in there, and I, I have I find a lot of charm in it. I think it's tons of fun, um, and that also kind of goes hand in hand with I guess the chaotic approach that they are taking in the in the songwriting here. Also, I think the production quality of this one is is great. I mean, the it, the instrumental is very dynamic and and it's definitely polished within its mixing. Um, I think the the playful arrangement as a whole and just how they layer rhythms and stack different uh, sections after each other, it's a very playful arrangement. And it's also being further enhanced by production quality that I think really kind of highlights specific instrumental inputs here. I think this section towards the end where it comes into a half beat and it kind of like comes this um, trap segment, I'd say, with 808s and just massive drumming arrangements. Um, it's actually quite creatively put together in those sections, I'd say. And then how it also leads into, into a section that goes double time with, with the same kind of instrumental uh, input. 
So I think that's really, that's a nice part, like, uh, there towards the end of the song. I, I really enjoy that part. Um, and also, like, in the second verse, when they throw in the clap on, on the on the backbeat, it's, like, such a simple little detail, but it feels so fulfilling, and I just love that aspect of it. Um, melodically, I'm not sure if it's really all my thing. I'm not sure if this might grow on me, and, and I will start to really love the melody of it. But right now, I feel like it didn't really hit me that much. I just more or less loved the the playfulness of the whole track, like the arrangement of the whole track, I'd say, and just the kind of combination of absurd ideas that actually tie into one cohesive package. Uh, and I'm intrigued to see how they're how they're gonna nail this on stage because I think that could be quite tricky. Um, but we'll we'll live to find out. Um, yeah, enjoyable one though. Uh, I think this uh, this was uh, pretty strong and, and I'm intrigued by it. So uh, I enjoyed this one. Tell me if you did the same. Uh, I'll be looking forward to reading some comments from all of you that you will hopefully <laughs> write uh, about this song. And until next time, take care of yourselves and bye bye.